Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Blanche SB, and I've got another Serpents 3 introductory video for you. In the previous video, we were able to create your very first panel along with some subpanels and making use of Blender properties and uh, Blender operator as well. Now, panels are awesome, but sometimes they get in the way, especially when you have uh, your workspace split up like this. Maybe you don't want your panel always obstructing the view. So what if we could make the panel a little more movable like a pop-up? And we can do that using um, a shortcut key, or you can call it using an operator. But since we haven't covered shortcut keys yet, we're going to go ahead and do that today. So let's go ahead and just move up here a little bit and go to your Add menu. And we're looking for the Events section. And in here, you want to grab your On Key Press node. Now, since this panel lives in the 3D view, I'm going to click the Any space and make sure I only have it tied to View 3D. That way, if my mouse is somewhere else and I click my key, it's not going to pop up that panel because the operations deal with stuff going on in the 3D view. Now, the Y key is pretty available um, on most Blender key maps. So, in the object mode, at least, when you click on Y, you can call up this key map. So, let's go ahead and leave that. And you can make use of Control, Shift, and Alt if you'd like. I'm just going to leave it on Y. And we don't need to repeat the key. So I just click it once. And as long as I pressed it down, we're going to call the key map. Now by default, it's set to an operator. And you can paste in an operator. So if I wanted to do the duplicate objects, I could totally paste that in and make it just handle an operation. But in my case, I want to be able to pull up a panel. Now you can select a panel by clicking on the eyedropper and coming over and selecting any panels that you are interested in. But I want to grab one that's in my Serpents graph. So all you got to do is change your icon here down to Custom. Pick your node graph where your panel lives. And I want to grab panel 1 to provide all the operations. Drag that a little bit. Now that I've got this set up, I can click on the Y key. It doesn't do anything in here. But when I'm over in the 3D viewport and I hit Y, I've now got options on my panel. Now I can get rid of my end panel. And I've got more space and I can even move this around just a little bit. So I can click on Duplicate. Click it again. I can move that object up and scale it. Man, that's just, that's really cool. You're going to love the key maps. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and there's a lot more things you can do with the key maps, like calling Pi menus, standard menus, and running operators. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one.